I need two mesh testing nodes quick. Let's get going. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. On the Thursday before field day, I decided I needed two additional Meshtastic nodes. I put the order into Amazon and got the parts on Friday. All right, so we got pieces and parts for two different builds. We're going to do this one second, so let's get those parts out of the way for now. And basically, this is what we've got for this build. This is four antennas. We're only going to use one of them. Here's the case. Here's the Helltech V3 in its original pack or original case. And here's the 3000 milliamp hour battery. Now, guys, I am literally doing this on Friday before field day, and I want this available for field day. I could have uh, done some of this myself, like 3D printed a case, but I just didn't have time. I ordered these pieces and parts yesterday. Well, I had these two already and the ones for the other build, but I didn't have any of the other things. So I ordered these parts yesterday. They came in today, and I'm literally trying to race the clock and get this done before field day tomorrow. I'll leave links to everything down in the description below if you happen to be interested. Now, this case, this is a pretty slick little 3D printed case. Uh, so it's got a belt clip uh, style right here, so we could clip that to our belt. Not sure if I want to do that or not, but the 3D print quality is pretty spot on on this. I got to give the guy that made this mad props for this. Now, there is an assembly video if you want to uh, maybe take a look at that. Go ahead and look at that QR code right now on your phone. That should pull up the assembly video. I think we can do that without looking at that though. So let's see if we can figure out. This uh, case has a little bitty spot right there where I think I could get my fingernails in there and just kind of pry that apart. Something is rattling around on the inside and that looks like the buttons that we're going to use for this. So first things first, let's go ahead and get this inserted right here. So I'm going to disassemble this uh, antenna connector, drop parts everywhere, and go ahead and get this inserted into the case. And that is a pretty snug fit, which is a good thing. So let's go ahead and get a couple of washers on here, and then we'll get that nut on there to secure this. See how difficult this is going to be to get run down there. Oh man, just enough room to spin that thing down. All right, let me get that tightened up, and I'll be right back with you guys. Now, what we don't want to do is we don't want to power this on without an antenna attached. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this antenna now, just to make sure that uh, I don't accidentally power it up without the antenna connected. Uh, this is going to be kind of a little personal node. It's not going to have a lot of range because of uh, the short antenna and the low power and whatnot. But with my new relay node up above the house at about 35 feet, this should be perfect for moving around the house. Now, actually, after looking at this 3D printing case, I might end up ordering another one of these. Uh, one unit for me and a small unit like this for the wife as well. I do have one of the Trekker Deltas that I really like. I bought this thing in Dayton this year. Talk about fabulous battery life. I'm never going to get that kind of battery life out of the Helltech board, but these are a bit pricey. I think this one comes in at about $144 if I remember right, and I paid full retail for it. Something like this we can probably build, I'm guessing, for about $50, $60, bucks, and that's even buying the case. So you can save quite a bit of money if you want to do it yourself. All right, let's see if we can get this case opened up. And maybe, there we go. All right, now we've got inside of these, you've got your antenna right here, which is roughly the same size as the one I'm going to use. But this one's a little bit stiffer and uh, I think it'll hold up better long term. Plus it's got the SMA connector, so we could swap to a longer antenna in the future if we needed to or wanted to. So let's see if we can get all of this out of here. This is pretty straightforward. They just drop down in those little plastic cases. I hang on to these. I'm not really sure why, but you know how it is. Maybe one day in the future, I'll need uh, another case for something and I'll have it laying around. I'll also save these antennas that I uh, pull off of these boards. All right, let's get, let's figure out exactly how that's gonna route in there. It's gonna have to be on this far end. 
And I'm wondering, let's get this out from underneath it. I'm wondering if this can come in on the bottom and go right there. Of course, I need to get the buttons down in there as well. And it looks like, yep, we've got a slot cut out for the USB-C port. So that tells us that this goes right here. So actually, the antenna is going to be right up there on the top. Hmm. We're going to have to maybe futz with this just a little bit and see if we can uh, make all of this happen. Let's see if I can get this. I hate these little antenna connectors. These things are always a pain in my rear end to try to get these snapped down and make sure they got a good connection on them. And this one's going to be no different than some of the others I've tried to put together. So let me fumble with this thing for a second. I'll be right back. All right, I think I got it on there securely. Now we've got to flip this board around and get this put inside. And I really don't know what's the best way to orientate. Oh, what am I doing? i got to turn this thing face down. There we go. That's going to work a little bit better, which now I want this antenna to face this way. And I've got to get those buttons in. All right, let's see. These are the things you learn the first go around of anything is exactly how you need to go about getting everything in place. Those just drop right down in there nice and easy. Now, let's see if we can get this snapped in without cracking the screen on this board. And I think that's it. I think I got it right there. That looks like this should sit down just a little bit further. Oh yeah, I see. I don't quite have the USB-C port lined up right here, so I'm going to work on that, fumble with it, and see if I can get that board. It's out just a little bitty bit right there. It overhangs that lip just a touch, so we got to get that down in there so that it's flush. Now, what's the best way to do this? I'm not sure. I'm kind of guessing at this, so you guys don't have to make my mistakes. Am I going to damage that USB-C? Maybe not. I think that's lined up. Now, Will it scoot over in there a little bit more? There we go. All right, and I didn't crack the screen, so we're good. Antenna's on there. Last thing to do, guys, get this battery on here. And is that going to fit with that in there? Oh, it will, just barely. So I've just got the antenna coax right here kind of bound up uh, between the battery and this part of the case. And now it's just a matter of plugging it in, if I remember the correct orientation for this battery. Oh, it doesn't have enough lead on that. All right, I'm going to have to turn the battery around, and we'll go at it. This, oh, man, that is going to be tight if I get that to fit. Hmm, let's try this again. Got to be smarter than the equipment you're working with, and obviously this morning I am not. All right, I'm trying to rush this. That's part of the problem. I don't normally wait to the last minute on a project, but this one kind of uh, snuck up on me a little bit. I made this decision absolutely last minute. And I see a blue light. I think we have power. Check that out, guys. That is pretty dang easy. Okay, I fumbled with it a little bit, but... Man, check that out. And it does come with an included wrist strap if you're interested. And, of course, this... Uh, belt clip as well. So that should work out very well. Now, if you press and hold, I believe it's this larger button, those should go ahead and shut down. That way you're not burning battery uh, when you're not using it. Yep, there it is shutting down. So now this one is ready for tomorrow. Let's go ahead and tackle that other one that's going to be waterproof. All right, so let's take a look at the second node that I want to build. And again, guys, I'll leave links to everything down in the description below. I did pick up this project box off of Amazon. I think two of these was only like 10 bucks. Now, it's not a very big one, but it'll be plenty for this particular project right now just because we're going to quickly throw this thing together. It does come with a nice rubber seal. You do have to put the rubber seal in the lid of it, and then I trimmed it off right there to make it fit. to give you just a little bit of extra. Now, I told you a while ago that I save these cases. I took this one and hacked the original antenna port off of it. So I just uh, took the board out and cut the case. I put the antenna extension on it, and dropped it back in the case. So we've got this little short antenna. I will be replacing this with a longer antenna that's supposed to show up this afternoon. I've got this one on it though for the time being. Now, this is really, really, really quick and dirty. Uh, so it's, uh, it's not gonna be a perfect job. Now, if you don't have a stepper bit, you absolutely need one for a project like this. Yeah, you can use drill bits and other things, but these come in so handy. 
they make life so much easier. I've already punched a hole for the antenna port and I'll have to put one more here so uh, I can hang it. I'm gonna put some sort of little loop there so that I can hang this. And then I'm gonna come back and after I've mounted this, I'm gonna put some silicone around all of this just to keep it completely watertight. So let's see what we can make happen here. I'm gonna just uh, take this antenna off for a minute and get these nuts and washers off of it. Now I just went ahead and dropped that through, put the nuts and washers on, and that's going to be good enough. I will come back and put a little silicone around that just to make sure it doesn't get wet. But guys, literally this is gonna be super, super quick and dirty on this build because I just don't have a lot of time and uh, like one of the things I didn't even think about when I ordered these pieces and parts last night was an on-off switch. Of course, that would have made it harder to uh, keep this box waterproof. But for right now, we're simply going to plug the battery up to it and drop it all in and put the four screws on top. It fits fairly well. So I'll probably orientate the battery right there. I'm just going to drop this in there. I will connect the battery, but if I connect it now, it may be dead before uh, the end of fill day. So I don't want to do that just yet. That's going to be that. We're going to take the lid of it. Oop, don't be dropping screws. We're going to drop it on right here. And we'll have to get that pushed down in there out of the way for right now. We're going to drop the cover on it and put the four screws in it. Now, downside, because I didn't think... Uh, about an on off switch on the outside. I am going to have to open this thing up to connect the battery and I will have to open it up to recharge. But uh, be that as it may, it will still provide a decent little waterproof case that I can fly on a mast during field day and not have to worry about it getting wet. Now, I did finish up this node before field day. This antenna did arrive later in the afternoon, and then I went ahead and put this little eyelet on here so I could fly this up above the mast during field day. So how did it work? Well, exactly like I expected it to work. No issues whatsoever with either of the nodes, and I've already placed another uh, order for one of these cases. This, I really enjoyed the size of it, and when you're within, no, uh, within easy reach of other nodes, it works great. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.